Hola bandidos, como estamos? Welcome to Mel's Magic Official. I'm Magic Mel and this is my angel, Charles. Welcome to episode 8 of season 11. I'm Magic Mel and my purpose with these videos is to reach your heart, to touch your heart and to help you to step back into your own power that is right there within you as well as your connection with the divine because the connection with your own power goes hand in hand with your connection with the divine and that is regardless of religion it's your personal connection with the divine spark that is not outside of you but right there inside of you and you know i've been mentioning this story to you several times it's in german <laughs> the original in german but it's the never-ending story by michael ende I read this when I was, I think, about 10, and it really, it really stayed with me. You know the beautiful thing about myths and fables and fairy tales? They carry deep, archaic lessons, because the individual journey that we go through as human beings is not random. We are really born to come into a journey of reconnection, of discovering who we really are, of reconnecting with our own power. So in the never-ending story, the protagonist, Bastian, goes into a bookstore and he stumbles upon this beautiful book, The Never-Ending Story, and he starts reading this book and he gets absolutely enthralled by Fantasia, this magical land, as well as the main characters, Adreo, who's a hero who is trying to save Fantasia from the big nothing. The big nothing being a wave of darkness that just swallows everything up. Everything beautiful that was ever created in Fantasia. And the moon child, the moon princess, is calling to Adreo to, to help her to protect the entire land from collapsing and being swallowed up. And as Bastian reads this story, he comes to realize that he's part of the story. And furthermore, he comes to realize that he is the one being called to save Fantasia because Adreo in the story actually died in the pursuit. So here's Bastian reading the story and realizing what? Are they talking to me? This can't be. This is just a book. This is just a story. And Bastian avoids and refuses the call until the very last minute where he takes the brave step and immerses himself into the book. In the meantime, Fantasia was completely destroyed apart from one seed, one fragment of the moon child's palace remained. And she showed it, she held it up to Bastian and he apologized. And she said, you still made it. Even if this is the only thing that remains of Fantasia, you still made it. And I thank you for that. And from here we can recreate everything. Now, myths are not just empty stories. You and I were living a myth. And the darkness that is swallowing up Fantasia is swallowing up our own world. So I'm asking each one of us, how much suffering do we need to endure to wake up and to realize that we are the one? We are the hero of our own story. You are the hero of your own story. How much needs to disappear and be destroyed until we step into that light, step into that role, our own hero's role? I'm sorry if I spoiler alerted the story, but obviously the book is always much more rich. If you haven't read it, I really encourage you to read it. It's a bit of a chamon or shinken as we 
tend to say in German, but it's worth every page. It's a beautiful story. And the same story is being told in many expressions. The Matrix, Star Wars, all of these hero journeys, all of these hero stories are the same story. And we are living an epic story right now. I also talked to you about this book, The Answer of the Angels, which is a document of the channeling of four Hungarian people who channeled these angelic frequencies and documented what they received into this book. If I'm not mistaken, one or two actually died during the Nazi invasion, because this was written around the time. However, the manuscript still exists. And the message remains. We are the bridge to this new world. It's up to us. What we tune ourselves to in terms of frequency, what we alchemize, how brave we are, what virtues and values we embody. The message remains and it will remain regardless. But how many times does this need to be passed on? I don't like this notion of one day, because one day never arrives. And today spreads into eternity, and today is all we have. I chose to keep the lights off because it highlights the contrast. We need the darkness for the light. I'm going to keep this video short. I have so much to say, guys, and share, but I want to keep it bite-sized also. You know, there's this assumption that the human being is wired for competition and war and greediness. It's actually not true. And I'm not just taking this out of thin air. It's based on research by Dr. Gabor Mate. We're actually deep down wired for love, guys. We just have such low self-concept, such low self-esteem and so much self-loathing that we don't see the highest in us anymore. But I choose to see the highest in you, the highest expression that you're capable of. I see that in you. The question is, do you see it? I know we can do much better. And I don't care where you're sitting. I don't know who is watching. But I love you. Because I understand that Regardless of how many times you mess things up or how many mistakes you made or how long you wandered in the darkness. I see the light in you. 
maybe it's just you yourself condemning yourself and keeping you in the shame cycle. Isn't it time to leave that behind? We are our worst judges at the end of the day. Don't believe in a punishing God. They say in the afterlife, once we cross over, we review our life and we judge ourselves. And we are put in other people's shoes so we see how we hurt the other person because we're all one. But judging ourselves, it doesn't lead to change or doing things in a better way. How about forgiving ourselves and doing things differently? It doesn't matter if it takes repetition. As long as you keep on choosing yourself, self-love. I'll leave it at that, guys. More sharings in the next episode. I do love you. Stay tuned. Charles and I have got your back, and I hope you have your own back. See you for next episode. Thank you for liking, sharing, and especially for gifting me your attention, which is the most precious thing.